holy, we have a spawner minecart. Minecraft's limitless mechanics and infinite terrain already grant the player so much freedom in the way that they play that there are separate communities for all types of playstyles. Some play Minecraft only in creative mode, some players focus only on building cool houses, and some players focus solely on building working computers inside a game on a computer. The confines of Minecraft allow for so much variation that that's probably why it's lasted so long. The unobtained playstyle is something I came up with to combine my interest in old versions and my interest in Minecraft bugs. And what started as an idea to just experience some nostalgia became a playstyle that myself and many others enjoy in their own way. And what makes this so different is the added challenge of progressing through the game without blocks or mechanics that exist in future versions. The long-winded way to trade with villagers is still a consideration in this playstyle compared to a normal survival run. The Minecraft Discontinued Features wiki took Unobtained to the next level and has been the go-to resource for anyone who wants to learn about unobtainables or find resources the community has made. With over 1,000 members, the Discord is very active and continues to foster a wonderful and open community for all types of people to join. And as the community continues to grow, so does the playstyle. Okay, so 100 episodes of a specific thing is a lot. That's a lot of time spent doing something and for me, it's a huge milestone. Getting to 100 episodes of a single type of series has been a goal of mine for a long time. This is my unobtained world as it stands currently. We are currently in version 13w37b, and that is a 1.7 snapshot. Now you may be thinking, why are you in a snapshot and why are snapshots important? Like, aren't they development versions? And that's exactly right. This whole series is all about playing in development versions. Every block you see has probably been placed in a development version of the game and not a full release version of the game. Okay, why do we use these versions that are like in development? Well, for that reason, we want to exploit the development of the game to our own devices. I mean, oh my goodness. If we can get something like spawn eggs because they left a hotkey to turn your game mode into creative, that's so cool, I mean, why not do it, right? It's it's really fun. So all these things can be gathered in a very specific way. Some things require more work than others. For example, getting all the wool-headed mobs required me to create a farm for them. Okay, so I think you get the idea, just use snapshots and abuse snapshots until you get something really, really strange, right? Yes. But how does this keep growing? Well, let me tell you something. As this community grows more and more, Unobtainables get discovered all the time. In fact, there's an entire category dedicated to invisible unobtainable items. Things that you can't even see in game, but you can only see like when you look at the NBT of an item. What? So if something that's invisible can be an unobtainable, but also bedrock and spawners and things like that can be unobtainable, what actually defines an unobtainable? Well, in the words of the wiki, a discontinued feature is defined as a feature of Minecraft, whether a bug or an intentional feature, that could be acquired in specific versions of the game, and the ability to acquire said feature was, at some point, removed. Pretty simple, right? Yes, it's simple, but the application of it can be far more complicated. I mean, just in what way can one update through the versions most optimally to collect the most amount of unobtainables? Well, that's something the community's already figured out for you. I mean, come on. Slim Jim made an entire spreadsheet that runs you through every version of Java and tells you exactly where to go and what to do. It's pretty crazy. And it's being updated all the time because, as I said, things continue to get discovered and it just gets more and more complex. The deeper in you go, the more complicated it gets. So after 100 episodes, how am I not sick of this playstyle? Well, it's because... I've learned how to play it properly. And when I say properly, I mean, I'm also playing survival in the background, which survival is an incredibly good basis to continue having fun in a game. I mean, there's always the challenge of, oh, I need to make this farm, or I need to get these resources to do this thing, and I wanna make my base look cool, and I wanna do this, and I wanna do that, and it just makes the game more entertaining in the long run. And I think this third world is definitely the charm. Like, really, the third time's the charm? I can't believe that's real. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. It's 
incredibly rewarding to do all of this in survival while also updating a world through all the different versions that you go through in an unobtained playthrough. And that is what makes it awesome. So to see all this awesomeness, I've picked out moments from a bunch of different episodes from all three different seasons, and I put together a very amazing montage for you guys to watch. So get back, get some popcorn, and watch it, and I'll meet you back to add something very beautiful to the world to celebrate 100 episodes. Hello everybody, my name is Puff, and welcome to Minecraft Unobtained. Yeah, uh, Jeb's told me that it's not quite done yet. So, what I've been experimenting with is a pathway here from this side of nothing to this side of nothing. Oh, you're uh, watching me. Uh, hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Um, this is awkward. Okay. So, how did you guys enjoy the montage? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to put together. I tried to include a lot of really cool moments from all three series. Of course, I put most of the moments from this current season because, of course, we're continuing this current season. But uh, yeah. So, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a wall to remember so yeah the ogs they may know what this is, uh, is from look at that what is that from yeah you're right it's from season one so for those of you who don't know uh, in season one i came across this really weird uh villager house in the first episode and it looked kind of like this i'll play the clip right now and yeah so i kind of tried to include that the two pillars in the sand uh, that, that represented the um, stronghold and then I had a really big sugarcane farm in that base as well so that's kind of the first season's base or at least one of them I had two bases in that season that's the one that I spent most time at is that little village that I repurposed in the desert uh, and then on this side we're going to do season two we're going to do a little memento for it on this side and I haven't decided what exactly to put there yet um, but with the magic of video editing I can uh, tell you this is what it looks like yeah so you recognize what this is from in season two you would know this is uh, the portal that we had set up in our world I'll put a clip of it right now but yeah it looks pretty nice um, I kind of copied it kind of didn't you know it's just a, a rough estimate of what it was and yeah we got to work on this stairway thing we got to clean it up a little bit but yeah I think this is a really good um, thing to do for this room it looks really nice so now all I gotta do is frame everything um, up top there, get rid of this, clean it up. And I need to put a ceiling in on this room and then I think, you know, that's that. <laughs> so, now you know what Unobtained is all about. Yes, everybody. So, to celebrate 100 episodes, I also created this thing where I put some Unobtainables floating and this little chalice thing around it. And I wanna ask you guys, because you guys are better builders than me, what can I do to put around this thing to make it look way cooler. Uh, some sort of floating object of some kind with lava flowing out of it is 
what I'm going for, but what I did here is kind of just a placeholder. I want to see what your guys' designs are. I will put a sign down at the bottom that says you are the one that designed it as well. So go ahead and join my Discord in the description below and send me images of cool ideas for this. I really look forward to seeing what you guys have to come up with. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. A tradition I started recently was talking about some specific topic or answering a, a question at the end of the episode. And today I wanted to touch on a comment that I saw recently, which was asking if I'm going to get unattainables from 20W14 Infinite. Yes, yes I am. So for those of you who don't know what 20W14 Infinite is, it's a 1.6 April Fool snapshot that has all these interesting dimensions with randomly generated just wacky stuff. And if you go to these dimensions, you can find some really cool stuff and you can find some unobtainables uh, in terms of mobs and blocks and just configurations of things that would not normally be possible. And uh, when we do get to 1.16, we will be going to that version. However, we are in 1.7 currently and that's a ways off. And I really want to take my time with this series, and I want to do everything I can in each version I'm in, and I want to go slow. So, yeah, it's not going to be for a while, but when it does come along, you betcha we're going to be checking out all those dimensions. Probably for multiple episodes, too. Anyways, thank you so much for 100 episodes, and here is to 100 more. All right, bye. Bye.